How's it going, everybody? Just wanted to talk to you guys today about my concrete block raised garden bed. Uh, I'm just gonna talk about how I built it, um, how you can easily build it. It's a pretty easy build for, for anybody. Um, I will be building another one of these, and when I do build another one of these, I will make a walkthrough video of how I'm building it. There were a couple of things I learned along the way of my first time building it, but pretty much, for the most part, there's not a lot I would do uh, differently. I will tell you guys a couple of the things I would uh, do differently. So, it's about this particular raised bed. This is uh, two feet high. It is four feet wide on the inside and 16 feet long on the inside. So four by 16, six, 16 by four um, and two feet high. And um, to build a concrete black raised bed of that length, you're gonna need exactly 96 concrete blocks. Now you can make this bigger or smaller, whatever you wanna do. If you do it the way I did it, you can make it pretty much as big as you want and the structure will hold no matter how much dirt you put in if you build it the way um, I built it. Now, um, the first step is to level the land the best that you can. So I just set laid the box blocks and then used a leveler to kind of level the blocks. Next time I think I'll use a string. So that's one thing I'll do a little bit differently to even have a better level. But for the most part, it's pretty level. Um, it's pretty good and it's good enough to hold dirt for me, which is the purpose of it. Now, um, as you can see under here at the bottom, I have sand that it's resting on. I don't even think that's necessary, to be honest. I think uh, concrete uh, mix that I poured into the forms is plenty enough to hold it in place. I don't even think you need that. So you're gonna need uh, to build it so that it holds and can hold as much dirt as you want without giving in. Um, is you're gonna need um, concrete mix, you're gonna need some uh, uh, concrete blocks, you're gonna need to be level. Um, one thing that's optional is this rebar here. Um, the reason why I have the rebar is for uh, two purposes. Um, purpose one is to add some um, structure um, stability, but the real main purpose of it was so that I could uh, use it to make, you know, uh, turn this into a uh, hoop house, um, you know, to extend, you know, the season a little bit longer when it gets cold. So I'll show you guys, uh, it's a little bit hard to do this uh, while I'm holding this camera, but I'll give it a shot. Um, you put this, you just fit this uh, rebar onto here like this. See how I'm fitting that on there like that. And then you just fit this tubing onto the other side like this and now I have a perfect hoop to turn this into a little greenhouse or a little green tunnel okay so it's very simple um, the rebar this rebar is half inch thick rebar that I'm using on this tubing okay so instead of putting the tubing into the concrete I just put the rebar and use the rebar as an attachment for the tubing Okay, so and you can do whatever you want. You could even make a little tunnel if you had two of these, right? If you had two of these raised beds, you could even make a little tunnel going across from one raised bed to another. Okay, so there's a lot of possibilities with the rebar, and they also add um, a solid structure. Now, if you look at the concrete mix, uh, I want to talk about the concrete mix. The way I did it is um, I got 80 pound bags of concrete. And 80 pound bags of concrete fits perfectly into two uh, five gallon buckets. So what I would do is I fill the five gallon buckets up a third of the way with water. That's very important. I learned that pretty quick that if you pour the water first, it, it doesn't, you know, it's a lot easier to mix. And I poured, I filled the five gallon buckets each with a third, uh, a third of the way with water. Then I, you know, poured, you know, 40 pounds each into the five gallon buckets. And then I got a uh, cement mixer attachment to attach to my uh, corded drill. And it's very important that the drill is corded. Um, and I mixed it with the corded drill. Um, it's important that the drill is corded just because the corded drill is much more powerful. Um, it can draw a lot from a lot more um, watts. So, you know, battery power drill probably won't have enough strength to Dig, uh, mix concrete just just won't cut it even the best ones probably won't cut it so I recommend just a power drill 
um, get that out here however you can. I use an extension cord to get it out here um, and to mix it. But you could mix it, you know, if you have a large property like I do, you could mix it closer to your house and then use this uh, gorilla cart here to wagon out the uh, the uh, concrete mix. But it's a um, pretty simple build. Um, as you can see, you know, I mean, I don't really think there's any much more to say. Um, it's 96 blocks um, stacked, you know, just do your measurements properly to get the proper measurements. Um, just measure on the interior until your interior is 16 feet long and four feet wide and then you've got the right distance of where to lay your concrete blocks. Um, the concrete blocks are laid opposing to each other for um, solidity and every single block, every other block is poured with concrete. Now, if you look at the concrete that I poured in here, some of it looks like this and some of it looks like that. <coughs> Excuse me. And um, the reason is, is because when I first started pouring, I had it, uh, I, did, I used less water because you know, I was always told that soupy concrete is not a good thing and it'll crack. And that's true. And it's not a good thing for a lot of things, but it's actually good for these concrete raised, concrete black raised beds because pouring in every other block is more than enough um, structure for this raised bed. It's, it's really, honestly, it's overkill. Um, and so you can afford to have, you know, your uh, concrete mix be a little soupy, honestly. Um, it, it's um, it's a lot easier to pour and you get more out of your concrete and you save money. So soupy concrete works. Um, that's one thing I will do differently is I'll make sure the concrete is soupy from the start so that it's easier to pour and I get more out of my concrete and I spend less money because even the soupy concrete mix is going to hold up just fine. This thing is not going anywhere. You know, No matter where I touch it from, it's not going anywhere. There's no way that this is going anywhere so on the inside of this you can see i got uh bricks laying it down uh this uh, chicken wire mesh here this is one inch thick chicken wire mesh and um you know i wanted uh something where the worms could still get through um i want worms and other you know good um bugs to be able to get through and to get up into the garden bed but i don't want moles and voles and things like that that just want to eat my plants so that's why I have this mesh that is, the idea is that it'll keep out bigger um, pests that we don't want, but the smaller uh, creatures that we do want can get through and access just fine and mix up that dirt and loosen up that dirt for us. Okay, so um, that's about all. Um, the, uh, the other thing is filling this with uh, dirt. Um, the way I'm doing it is, I um, am also digging a pond if you're following my homestead channel. And what I'm doing is I'm taking this and using this as a little ramp. This I'm just using what's on the property. This was here on the property. This I didn't build this, but this little ramp, this little uh, door is on the property. I'm using this little door um, as a ramp to get uh, my gorilla cart full of dirt when it's full of dirt. Um, um, I will fill that up and I roll that ramp right up and then I just dump the cart. So um, if you have access to dirt, that's an easy way to do it. Instead of shoveling it in, you could just ramp it up with a gorilla cart and then just dump it right in. Okay, so I find that a lot easier than shoveling it all in. That's going to take a lot longer. But if you can fill up a cart and just dump it in, that's a lot easier. And so that's how I built this. Um, I will make, like I said, a how-to video but I just wanted to talk about the raised bed. Um, and I will talk uh, about one more thing about the advantages of the concrete black raised bed versus any other type of raised bed. The biggest advantage of the concrete black raised bed is that the longevity, this thing is gonna last forever, even and perfectly built the way I built it. As you can see, it's not perfectly straight. It's like a little curved. Um, you know, I leveled it my best. I'll see if I can get better at that, but honestly, I don't care about that. As long as it holds dirt, I'm happy with it, um, but um, you know, um, I would say uh, um, the concrete block has the best longevity, um, and uh, not only does it have the best longevity, but um, it's pretty simple to build. Um, it, unlike, uh, let's say, um, you know, something out of wood is a little bit more complicated. 
um, to build because you still have to, you do have to know, understand wood a little bit, whereas you're just stacking blocks on top of each other here with the concrete blocks. So very, very simple. Um, and, um, you know, I, I'd also would compare it to one of those uh, steel concrete, uh, steel raised uh, beds that you can buy. Um, you know, um, the guy, uh, self sufficient me, has a bunch of those. The thing I'd say about those is um, you got to pay for those and you still have to assemble them. So I'd rather just assemble them, mine out of concrete block and and those while they last a long time the uh, steel raised beds they still will eventually rust and go bad they won't last forever like concrete will they will last a very long time or wood um, can even last a very long time if you take good care of it but again that's eventually going to give and it's going to rot so um but i would say that the other two options the steel or the wood is not as labor intensive as picking up heavy concrete blocks. These concrete blocks are heavy. Uh, mixing cement also, I mean, mixing concrete mix is also laborious. So it's physically more laborious to build this, but I think it's a little bit more tedious to build things out of the wood or out of the steel. Um, that's just my opinion. So that's me rambling about this. Um, I hope this was helpful. Um, anybody can build one of these concrete block raised beds. Um, you just, you know, get some blocks and start line them up, lining them up. Um, if you're not sure about your build, just don't pour concrete. Mix it and, and, then decide, and then look at it for a while until you're happy with it. And just, you know, you can even use it without even um, pouring all your concrete. So you don't have to finish this thing before you start using it. For instance, I'm going to probably eventually um, paint this with stucco mix and, uh, or a plaster, maybe something like that to make it look even better. And cover these tops so you won't even see that to make it look you know really really nice eventually but that's not high priority because the biggest priority for me is to get use out of this raised bed and to use it for what its purpose is but it is nice for it to look nice so hopefully that was helpful um if you got any questions please ask in the comments um i'm looking forward to that and thanks for bearing with me i'm just doing this video off the cuff talking off the top of my head and i hope uh, i helped you guys out if you're thinking about building one of these. All right, guys. Peace.